GitHub have just released a new update called GitHub Copilot Free for Visual Studio Code. And it's completely free to access. It looks super powerful. It's like an alternative to Windsurf or Bolt or Cursor. And it's basically a copilot that can help you create websites. We're going to be testing out. I'll show you exactly how to install it as well. So the first thing that you want to get is a free account at github.com. You want to make sure you have Visual Studio Code. So this is a local program that you can install. And then finally, you're going to install GitHub Copilot. It's an AI code editor for everyone. You can build tools, you can build websites, you can build new projects, and you can also just use AI to help you code. One of the biggest benefits, of course, with GitHub is that it has a lot of repositories that you can actually just import into GitHub Copilot. And then from there, you can start using that to code or create your own sort of tools around it as well. You can see the price in here is, for example, the free version, which literally just came out a few hours ago, gives you up to completions and 50 chat requests per month. Once you've installed it, this is Visual Studio Code. This is basically like an AI programmer, right? So you don't need to be able to code. You can just go in the chat, ask it to do some stuff, and then you can build whatever you want. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on open chat. We can then start using it, right? Now you can actually attach documents to it as well, or you can chat directly in it, and you can also edit with Copilot. So we're going to create a new file, and then from there we can create a new website. So let's call that example website. Now the editor inside Copilot has that as a reference. Create an SEO cost calculator. It's going off and it's creating the HTML, etc. Obviously, you want to do a lot more prompting than this, but this is just an example. We'll click on apply an editor, and then we'll also take this function as well and just click that icon right there. It's going to apply the code block, and there we go. Super easy. All right, so now we're going to click on click to run live server. Now I'm just going to hit save on the project. So open up the folder. I'm just going to drag that file into the folder to be able to open it up. If we just go to open that folder, now we've got example site here, so we can just open it in the finder. And then just one thing to bear in mind here is like just rename it as a HTML, the file. Grab that, you can plug it into Chrome, and you can see here we've got the SEO cost calculator that we literally just built in one minute. This just gives you an idea of like how easy it is to do. So for example, if we plug in the keywords, plug in the months, let's check this works, hit calculate, boom, shakalaka. If you're wondering, okay, how do you host these files? You can just go to netlify.com, just add a new site, import from an existing project. We'll drag that folder in, and there we go. And if we open this up, we've got the SEO cost calculator hosted online, super easy, took two seconds to do. And then also what you can do, if you go to domain management, you can click on add a domain and then just set this up with a custom domain. Search for whatever domain name you want, put in .com. You can just buy that and then it will automatically push your files to live on that custom domain. So you can see how easy it is, number one, to build our websites, number two, to get it hosted, number three, to, to preview it, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Let's talk about more advanced prompts. So here's an example. So we're going to grab this prompt, like basically create a website on the topic of. So you just insert whatever keyword you want to rank for on your website. Then from here, we've got some source context. So it's not spam. It's just like actually tailored to me, my brand and who I am. We're going to have some funnel links like you can see. And then also we're going to say link through this. Here's my brand colors. Sell a per site map XML. Add some relevant meta titles, etc. So from here, what we'll do is we'll open up a new folder, put local SEO site. And then I've pasted in the requirements right here. Now you can see it's responding really quickly. Obviously this is a much more advanced project than what we just built. Set up the project structure, create the pages, navigation bar, content, add the links, styling, etc. You got the sitemap XML, script.js, etc. And then we can go through this and just add it into the project. The chat is like good for getting responses directly, but the editor is what you want to actually build projects. All right, so now we're just going to add the file. We'll put the new file here. So index.html, plug that into the file, select that as a reference, and then we can start applying this. And then we're just going to add a style CSS. So we'll take that, plug that in. And then finally, we need the sitemap XML. So we'll create that as well. And there we go. We've created our project and this should be good to test. Let's grab that, plug it in. One thing to note here is that you want to save everything before you test it out. Otherwise, what's going to happen is when you drag that into Chrome, like we did before, it's going to look like this because it has no style CSS versus this, which looks a bit nicer. I wouldn't say that's great. I think you definitely need more back and forth with the code editor than you do with other projects. For example, if I give exactly the same project to Windsurf, and this is very similar to, to GitHub, set up a new folder, Windsurf local, and we'll plug in the same prompt as you can see. I do think there's something that just feels a bit easier in the UI. You can do exactly the same thing inside Bolt. So if you give that same prompt to Bolt, 
my gut instinct is a design is going to be 10 times better. I think the visual studio code is not bad. It does the coding, it, it creates, creates a website, etc. but it's just not as user-friendly as, as Bolt or V0 or Windsurf, right? And look at that, like the, right, which one are you going to choose? And this is using exactly the same prompt, right? So you got Copilot's attempt right here, and then you got Bolt's website right here, right? And this one you can deploy in one click using Bolt, whereas this one you're going to have to drag it into Netlify or whatever you want to do. So honestly, for me, like a Copilot is good, useful, does the job, but it does it very basically. So I think for SEO, for creating tools, websites, apps, etc., unless you're super technical, I don't think that GitHub is the right choice versus say bolt.new or windsurf or v0, etc. right? Now, what I've actually done is for any of these no code AI editors, number one, I've got all the video notes right here. Number two, we've talked about some use cases, but if you want access to all of my SAPs, including how I built an affiliate site using this process, local SEO sites, keyword combiner tools, some workflows for bolt.new, even for example, how I built an enterprise SEO, right? calculator, service websites, tools, calculate websites, EMDs, etc. Then feel free to get the video notes for this link in the comments and description. And inside there, number one, you'll get over 200 AI SEO lessons on how to do keyword research, link building, AI agents, how to make money with SEO, etc. And also if we go to the free SEO tools section right here, if you like free SEO tools, you're going to love this. We've got loads of different tools and we have the video notes down here for GitHub Copilots. So feel free to get that link in the comments description to the free course. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic, sales with SEO, feel free to book them. On this free link building acceleration session, we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. Now on this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions you have. You learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Now, normally you would pay like thousands of dollars for a consultation like that. We're giving it away for free just because we want to help you. And you can get that link in the comments and description. I think even just for getting your questions answered, it's probably worth it. So feel free to put that in. Hope to see you on there. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.